Welcome to fucking tech. Uh, what do we have this time? Well, this time we're building another keyboard mod uh, based on... We have the Red Dragon uh, K556 RGB RK with the round keys. It's a fugly keyboard. Uh, <laughs> and uh, on this one, we're going to put on some uh, out of move silent sky switches. We're going to put them on like this, just like this. Yeah, just for uh, just a sprinkle here, like a sprinkle, sprinkle on switches. Just like pepper or salt, you know, just give it a flavor. Yeah, there we go. Just like that, so uh, my, my mod is finished. No. <laughs> so, uh, this is a build for a good buddy of mine who was tired of his uh, noisy keyboard. So, I, I told him I'll build you one for to replace your noisy keyboard. So, uh, what we're building is we have a Red Dragon uh, K55. It's a Devarajas. There's a square key variant. This is the run key variant. It was a little bit cheaper, so I got a little bit cheaper because no one wants to buy this fugly keyboard. So, uh, so I loaned my buddy the uh, Redragon K589 Shrapnel, and he likes the RGB. So, he never had RGB, so I'm giving him RGB with another Redragon. And uh, this is a brown switch keyboard, Outamu brown switches, and I'm going to replace uh, the main switches with the Outamu Silent Sky switches. So this will make him a very nice silent keyboard. So I guess uh, we're gonna call this project uh, Dolce Bene because this keycap set here is like a Dolce Double Shot PBT backlit SA profile key set. So uh, this is a little bit higher than the uh, standard OEM profile keycap so uh, let's see if uh, he likes that and obviously I'm gonna try it out too so a nice uh, it's a nice dark gray with the black keycaps for the uh, modifiers so it's a uh, it's gonna be a nice dark style uh, but not all black just dark gray with uh, two, like it's a two-tone key set here so that's a Dolch style so uh, this is uh, not very expensive uh, they look very sturdy Double shot BBT, so we're gonna see what uh, what uh, what happens with these. Now, um, total cost of this thing is uh, so this is obviously very inexpensive uh, mod. Uh, so uh, so uh, it's not like a super crazy, uh, uh, super expensive build. So what I have here is uh, the the Red Dragon uh, K556 RGB RK, which is uh, ninety two dollars Canadian with the uh, taxes included so that comes up to uh, 60 68 79 usd and i got the switches uh from another uh, uh project uh my silent phoenix project i actually replaced my uh auto move silent skies with some zeal pc uh silent aquas so uh so these are from uh, silent phoenix um, I know they're very good. I enjoy these very much without O-rings. If you have O-rings with the Silent Skies, not great. Uh, I had the uh, Rosewell uh, uh, kit and it wasn't fantastic. Uh, it felt like smashing my fingers into a wall. So it wasn't great. So uh, Silent Skies without O-rings is fast. It's, it's really, really good. So these are the Silent Skies 68 grams. Um, these for 40 switches, I have 40 switches here. 40 of them is uh, around the 36 52 dollars canadian or 2609 us dollars so uh, the total cost uh oh yeah the uh, dodge keycaps uh these keycaps is a set that got on ebay uh, for 42 dollars and 14 cents canadian or 31.44 american us dollars so the total cost is 170 and 90 cents Canadian or 126.32 US dollars. So it's a below a $200 build, no matter what currency. <laughs> so that's that. So nothing else really to talk about here. I'm just gonna put in these uh, sign and sky switches, put on these Dolch keycaps, and uh, we're gonna see uh, what comes out of this. So I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm very, very curious. It's the first time, my first time trying the uh, SA profile keycaps. And as you can see, let's let's take, um, let's compare. Let's compare. I got a regular Razor keycap here. 
And let's care let's compare with the uh, arrow keys. Do I have arrow keys somewhere? Arrow keys. Come on, arrow keys. Where are my arrow keys? Are they oh here we go. So on the left is the Razer the Little Shop EBT replacement keycap set. And on the right, if I align the base there, that's the SA profile. You can see it's taller. So uh, most likely we're gonna get him a uh, wrist vest also. <laughs> so uh, let's see, these are a little uh, ball, ball type um, shape. So it's uh, anyways. Let, let, we're gonna see what this, what it, uh, what this, uh, what it does. So it's very good. So um, yeah, the uh, Devarajas uh, is only Automu, uh, Automu socket. So Automu switches only. Uh, Automu silence guys are gonna go, gonna go in. So nothing else really is gonna fit in there. Uh, so the rest of the keys, I'm gonna replace the main keys, uh, the Alpha and Numeric uh, insert home and the arrows. I'm gonna put all these as uh, silent skies and the rest is gonna remain brown switches. And I'm gonna do um, like what I did with my other keyboards, uh, all the uh, like the switches, like num lock, uh, scroll lock, insert, everything that's, that's a toggle, caps lock, uh, it's all gonna have blue switches. So out of move blue switches, we're gonna have clicky switches for all the little toggles. So uh, not the all uh, I have my other keyboards. It's all the modifiers, but I'm not gonna do all the mo uh, modifiers. Just the switches, only the toggles. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do with this keyboard. So uh, let's get cracking. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop all the shit. It is bad. It's no good. It's it's all fail. Okay, it's all fail. Ugh, okay. <laughs> A couple of uh, lessons learned and failures we got going on here. So um, I uh, in installed the silent uh, sky switches mixed with the brown switches, the Audemu brown, but it's too inconsistent. Uh, so I wanted to put some O-rings some little o rings on the brown switches but it's a fail why because i'm using sa profile keycaps and the stems are very very tall so to actually put o rings in the sa keycaps i need to stack like five o rings in there 
okay compared to you know just like one o-ring fits in this standard uh, oem uh, profile keycap so the sa profile keycaps uh o-rings are it's too much it's too bad and uh, they block the light a little bit so the uh it dims out the uh the, the backlighting so that sucks so i had to uh do something else so i decided to take out all the automo browns no more automo browns and i ordered some new a new batch of automo silent sky switches this time the 62 grams which i have marked in black uh so i can recognize them uh next to the uh, 68 grams so in the middle in the main typing area everything is 62 grams and around the keyboard is the harder uh, 68 gram switches so they're a little bit harder so um so the o-rings i know the o-rings work on the brown switches but they don't work on the sa keycap so that sucks and i'm not gonna stack uh like buy like 10 uh, <laughs> five kits of o-rings just to stack them up in the sa profile keycaps so other issue uh i wanted to put the blue switches as uh, mod, uh toggles for like num lock caps lock and stuff like that however for some reason this automo blue switch doesn't seem to fit in the automo sockets because it squishes the main the, the the front pin so that's not good so uh but these are different they're different uh, they have the regular stem rather than the box stem so i'm figuring these particular automo blue switches are made for the standard kale sockets instead of the automo sockets uh, so uh right so for some reason these automo switches do not fit in the automo sockets which is uh, the slightly disturbing all right so so those are gone anyways uh this keyboard is going into a recording studio anyway so i don't need these blue cl clickies so it was a nice idea uh but it's a fail so everything the whole keyboard entirely is going to be completely out of move silent sky switches all right so uh there we go and i replaced the stabilizers with the uh, cherry uh, original oem uh, cherry mx uh, stabilizers made uh, there's a now there's like a re oem and some other one uh and the oem is the uh, silent one so uh so i got the band-aid mod you're, you're gonna see the video i got the band-aid mod going with some lubing and i lube the stabilizers oh my god so revised total cost for this thing <laughs> Okay, the Redragon K556 RGB RK is still $92, uh, $93. The keycap still $32. Uh, no, $40, $42 Canadian. Okay, hold on. Keyboard, $92 Canadian, $93 Canadian, $69 US. The keycaps, SA keycaps, the Dolch, uh, $43 Canadian, $32 US. The uh, I got $64 switches that are 62 grams for the silent sky uh those are total uh 71 dollars canadian and 51 dollars us now the 68 grams of these i have 40 so that's a total cost of uh 38 dollars canadian and 27 dollars us and the total cost is 242 dollars canadian and 178 dollars usd so still under 200 dollar keyboard if you're in american dollars but over 200 for the canadian side so <sighs> so a little bit more expensive plus i got some other accessories coming uh that's not including the wrist rest which is very soft uh you've I've seen it in uh, the earlier section of the video it's very soft that one the whole the soul oh, it's very nice um so i got uh some special keycap coming and i got another accessory to come with this keyboard that i'm not listing in the total price so this is the total price just for the keyboard not the accessories so 242 canadian and 178 american dollars so without all this said let's get on with it and get it done
fucking tech.com.